Today, we're gonna do something crazy. We're gonna make a we are going to make a full avatar that can move, that can talk, and that looks like me. So we're going to go step by step on how to make the avatar, how to make text, the voice, and how to make it move. Let's go. I see many people in the comments asking how to create your own avatar with AI. And I'm going to show you today how to do it in Midjourney. And the first thing that we need to do is give Midjourney some examples that it can use to create avatars. You can either just press the plus, upload file, or you can just pull the files in. I'm just gonna do one and two. So I have two images of myself that really show my face and press enter. And now we can start creating the first avatar. So after you paste the image inside Midjourney, you can just right click on the image and select copy link. Then we copy the link of the file. And we're just gonna paste the link that we have. And we're gonna do space. And I'm gonna copy the link from the second image and also add that one there. So now we have two links. So Midjourney has more to look at to create the avatar from. And what's very important with Midjourney and avatars, because it's hard to get them right, is to use male or female in the beginning. So it really understands what you're trying to get. And you can add an emotion as well. That really helps if you're making happy or sad or something like this. But for now, I just want the avatar that I can animate. And I want like a half Terminator, half human kind of avatar. So I'm first just gonna type Terminator. Let's just see how this first avatar from Midjourney looks like. And I'm very curious because I tried it before and it's very hard to get it, make it look exactly like you. It's always so fun to do this, right? Because you don't know how it's gonna look and what the result will be. It's ready and yeah, that's that's the hard thing about uh, the Midjourney logos, right? It's not really looking like me. And the hair looks similar. That's that's what it does. And the face, it just, it's a little bit, it has some parts, but it's never perfect. So that's the thing with making avatars of Midjourney. You really have to do it more often. So we're just gonna try a couple more times and then hopefully there's one that's more similar. So I'm just gonna copy what we did before, slash imagine. So I add in the front character, Mill, half human, half robot. And when you add character, Midjourney really knows, ah, you want to make something from a video game or make something from a series or something. So then it knows that it is more looking in that area. It's almost there, the character, Mill, half human, half robot. And again, yeah, it, do it doesn't really look like me. It's just, it got something from the hair. And the face, it's just super hard to get right with Midjourney. If you really want to get the best avatar of yourself, you should use something like Lensa because that really trains a model on your face. Midjourney just doesn't do that. But these are maybe too realistic. So I can try it again. Do slash imagine, happy Pixar character. And now we really get a different style because it's Pixar. So it's like animated in a different style. So maybe it is less resembling, but it's okay because it's a different type of style of character. And the same I can try with anime. I'm gonna do a male anime villain. The Pixar is ready, the happy Pixar character. And yeah, you see, it doesn't look like me, but this could be something that you're really used to animate because this, yeah, it's not perfect, but at least you could say that it's you. I'm gonna try one more time the Pixar character, but I'm gonna do without the happy. And the male anime villain is ready. They don't look like me. I mean, it's cool to see that, okay, Midjourney is really not at the point of making very look-alike characters from yourself. So if you really want the avatar, don't use Midjourney. For me, it doesn't have to be perfect right now. I just need one avatar that I can use to do the next steps with, so that's okay. I just have two more. I have the male Pixar character and just the regular Pixar to see how it looks. Yeah, so these ones are not bad. I could even say that this one, okay, I don't have the glasses, but it's, it's getting there, you know? This one uh, could be, I'm gonna upscale that one. I'm actually also gonna ask for some versions from Tree to see if there are some that even look more similar. I think it's, it's a really a good one. Not perfect, but it's good. The character got upscaled, let's see how it looks. Now it got upscaled, it looks less like me. That sometimes happens with, uh, with Midjourney. But for now it's okay, I'm just gonna use this one. I have it saved now and then we can use it for the next steps. So the first tool that you want to use is 11 Labs. And 11 Labs is a tool that you can just type something if you want. Hi, this is my voice. And you can select different voices and when you press play, it generates. Hi, this is my voice. Then you just got a person saying 
what you just typed. The crazy thing about 11 Labs is, is that you can synthesize your own voice. And they have a couple of plans, the free one, you cannot use a custom voice, but they have a starter one for $5 and the first month is free. So I can just use it for this month if you want and then cancel it and you don't have to pay. So I subscribe to this one and here in the top you have the voice lab and here I can do some voice cloning. So I already uploaded my own voice and how you do it is just press here at instant voice you can give it a name. So this is just my own voice and you can add up to 25 samples that it can use to clone your own voice. That's crazy. So that's what I did with this one. I uploaded three files from videos that I made before and then you can just press I confirm and it creates the own voice. Then you can go to speech synthesis and here you can just type a voice, choose your own one and generate. Hi, I got created by this guy and I sound like this. And it's not perfect. I feel like they tried to make my voice more American, but that's just how it is. And here you have some different settings. You can make it more stable or it can make it more variable. If you make it more variable, it's gonna have more emotions and that kind of stuff. So we have the voice over ready. Then of course, we're gonna need the text. So for that, we're gonna use ChatGPT. So I asked ChatGPT, write me an outro text for a YouTube video telling people to watch more and subscribe. Okay, so we got thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. So it's really going for the subscribe notification, all that stuff. But for that, for now, that's okay. So I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna put it in 11 laps and I'm gonna generate. And I'm just very curious how this comes out. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. We consistently bring you the latest and greatest. So don't miss out. Stay tuned for more and don't forget. And to it hit doesn't that sound like me, to be honest. Like it's. Uh... It's maybe a bit, but it's not similar at all. And I think it might be better if I would upload even more files of myself. But it, at the moment, it just works best for people with an American accent. But I'm just going to download it. So with this button right here, then we're going to the next tool where we're actually going to make our avatar come to life. So that tool is called DID. And this is future facing generative AI. And you can see it here. It's more like they have this moving images of people that you can use for presentations and videos. They here have a trial for 14 days for free where you can make five minute video and they have a watermark included, but that's fine for now. I mean, we only need to make one for less than five minutes. So I'm just going to make a free trial. So this is the studio where you're going to actually create things. And on the left, I would click on create video. They have a generative AI presenter. So you can either choose one like this or you can actually describe what for AI character you want. And then they really build something here. But on the left, you can choose a presenter and you can add some things. So I press add and then I'm going to look for the character that I created. And it's just loading and it's recognizing the face. And just like that, here we have the character that I just created. That's crazy. And then here you see on the left that you can type your script and we can also upload a voice. And I'm just going to select the one that I just downloaded. That one is here, open. So now we have our own avatar. This voiceover, I'm gonna press generate video and just see what happens. I'm very curious if this really works. And now we just have to wait a bit and see what comes out. This is really showing the next level of AI, right? Because first with Midjourney, we can create all these avatars that are working perfectly. With ChatGPT, we make a nice text that we use. Then we use another tool that really grabs our own voice. And now let's see how it looks to create a video. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. We consistently bring you the latest and greatest, so don't miss out. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from us. We appreciate your support and can't wait to share more with you. See you in the next one. How crazy is this? How crazy is this? And yeah, it's not perfect. Then you see a couple little things happening in the top and the bottom of the head. Okay, the voice is not perfectly mine, but this is just insane. If you would have thought a year ago that you could do something like this, people would have not believed you. So I'll just download this one. So, and that's the end of this video. I hope you learned something and I think that this is just an incredible new way of making things, new things that AI can do. I'm very impressed and I'm very excited to keep using this more in the future. And in the end of this video, you're going to see the avatar that I just created. So have a nice day.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, there are plenty more AI related content available on my channel. So be sure to check out the rest of my videos here on the right and hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on all things AI.